So this is a soil texture triangle. So I've heard it referred to a lot of different things, but essentially we um, need to remember that soil texture is an abiotic factor for determining things about the soil. And it's made up of the three components of sand, silt, and clay. Even though soil is not 100% solid, so really about 50%, 45 to 50% solid. Um, when I say the, what portion is solid, these 3% need to add up to 100%. So I have this mechanical analysis I do and a particular soil comes up and it's 35% clay. So I need to find the clay side of this. So here's clay, it's 35%. So 35 is gonna be between 30 and 40. And I'm gonna go, it's right in the middle, so I'm gonna go right across here. How do I know to go straight across, not at an angle? I'm looking at those lines there. Then it's 52% silt. So I'm gonna come to the silt side. 52 would be between 50 and 60. Notice there's this angle here. So now I'm not going straight across, I'm following that angle. 52 looks like it's about there. All right. And really where those two intersect here is in this box here. And so I'm gonna classify this as a silty clay loam. To double check, I always think it's good to double check, 13% is sand. So I'm gonna to come to sand. Sand would be on this side. Notice the direction of the lines. 13% looks like about here, come up here intersects there and I get silty clay loam. So that would be how I would classify this type of soil. And if I think about it, not even looking at the percents, just looking at the name, what do you think is the largest component of it? Sand, silt, or clay? Well, the first word is silt, so it's mainly silt. Second place is clay, but it does have some sand in it, so it's a mixture and loam means mixture. So it's silty clay loam. If I look at the percents, Silt is the highest percent, then clay, but there is some sand in it. So that's kind of what the naming means and how you read this graph. Let's go ahead and do the second one on uh, this graph. So the second one is 8% clay. So actually, before we even classify it, look at the name. 8% clay, 10% silt, 82% sand. So what is probably going to be the first word in this one? probably going to be something with sand because there's so much sand in here. But let's start with the clay, 8% clay. And again, it doesn't matter which one you start with. 8% uh, clay is going to be right here going straight across. All right. So that's my 8% clay. 10% silt. So silt 10% all the way down here. All right here. And lastly, 82% sand. 82% sand, 82 would be about here. And what do I get? I get loamy sand. So you might be like, see Mrs. Reichen, you're wrong. We all make mistakes. But notice it's loamy, meaning there is a mixture, so there's other stuff in there. But basically the only word in this name is sand, which tells me this is primarily a sandy soil. Uh, and so, this is some of the information that um, you need to be able to use this graph given the information and um, figure out the soil texture and really probably have a, a do a reasonable check of what uh, the what the texture is. So if I got if I did this, I read this graph and I got it was a silty clay, that would tell me I probably read something wrong on the graph. So do a logic check, you know, because the names actually make sense based on the percentages. If you're still struggling or want more practice, this is, uh, I believe in the homework, but also right here, if you go to the electronic copy, that link has more practice where you can read a graph and it will score it for you. So that is how to do the soil texture triangle. They love this one on the AP test, so make sure you know it and understand it. Thanks.